President and CEO of Green Circle Realty. Ladies and gentlemen, friends, let's all welcome our resource person for today, the master salespreneur himself, Mr. Gabriel Billy Dominguez. Thank you. Welcome, Billy. Thank you for obliging us in our request to make you our speaker. One of the renowned figures in our uh, private realty organization. Welcome, Billy. Yeah, thank you, uh, Daylene. Thank you, Francis. Thank you, Charlie, for the invitation. It's my pleasure to be with you today. Alam ko, champion ito, no? ng uh, mga champions ito ng uh, Man Life. So today is we'll uh, get to learn uh, what makes a successful salespreneur and what makes a successful salespreneur especially during this challenging times. Diba? So sabi natin, mukhang may crisis pa rin tayo. Di natin alam when will this last. Pero there's no stopping the successful salespreneurs for, from becoming more successful. This is a business motivational talk for top earning uh, Manulife salespreneurs and negotiante. So welcome to the exciting world of Manulife negotiante world. Let's uh, marry the two important business disciplines, salesmanship, which is our basic function as sellers, and entrepreneurship, which is a component of becoming a very successful salespreneur. As, uh, financial advisors, yun ang major function natin to show our ability to influence people to buy our products or services. So if we are successful at that, we are a good salesperson. We are a good salesman. Kaya we have the discipline called salesmanship. Diba? Hindi naman tayo basta lang tagabenta, but the key word there is influence. So we are, we are, we, and we are able to influence our prospective market to buy or to patronize the services we offer, especially in Manulife, we are into salesmanship. But a lot of people are very good salespeople, but they're not necessarily good salespreneurs because they have to imbibe what we call the entrepreneurship quality. And what is entrepreneurship? Lahat tayo, pangarap nating maging negosyante. So ito yon. So kahit wala pa tayong sariling negosyong iba, dito lang sa Manulife, we can be an entrepreneur if we have the ability to ensure profitability, financial wealth, financial freedom in every business activity or process that we do. We have to embrace these two concepts in one, uh, salespreneurship, and we can be the next successful top-earning salespreneur. Wala ngayon. While we are talking, while you are seated in the comfort of your home today, pwede ba pakiisip natin tayo ay isang negosyente, may pusong ahente na masaya tayo na nag-aalo ng produkto at servisyo natin because we believe in our product, we believe in our service. Lalo na ngayon, our service is a very essential thing that we can offer to the people we love, the people we care. Diba? So, we enjoy talking to people, we enjoy uh, uh, doing service, pusong ahente ang tawag doon. But while we're enjoying what we do, dapat meron din tayong utak negosyante where in doing it, diba, we make our business prosper for ourselves, for our families, and of course, for our community. Lahat ng salespeople, including financial uh, services people of Manulife, sana lahat tayo, we have a very positive mindset and a very positive self-concept about ourselves as salespeople. So, proud negotiante. And uh, let us realize the importance of salespeople in the business community, especially during this, these times. Imagine without salespeople, in good times or in bad, what will happen to business? What will happen to the products of the big negotiante or the entrepreneurs or the business people without sales agents? So I hope with salespreneurship, lahat tayo ngayon, eh, itaas natin yung uri ng pag-aahente natin. And most important, let us be proud to be salespeople making a big impact in the industry that we are in, in the business community that we have at this point. And of course, in this most challenging times. Napakaswerte natin, we are in an opportunity-based business like being a financial advisor, di ba? Ang dami nangangailangan sa services natin. 
if we will just uh, be with us dito sa goals natin ng salespreneurship, yes, you can be the next uh, most successful and financially free financial advisor in town. So make sure your business doesn't stop even in the most difficult crisis. Of course, everything starts with, again, a positive mindset. Ulitin ko, even during crisis, a lot of business people, including people in real estate or in financial services, can thrive, not just survive. And as we can see, a lot of people today, uh, if they are doing very well, it's not of something spectacular. They just have a good product, they have a good sales marketing strategy, and they are managing their finance and resource so well. And more than ever during this most difficult time, dito mas importante tong third component na to, yung finance and resource management because we know, di ba, these are difficult times. But in difficult times, with our skill in finance and resource management, whatever we hold on to now can grow geometrically. And that's a trait of the preneur part of salespreneurship. Galingan nating bumenta, which is the salesmanship, pero galingan nating magmanage, which is the preneurship, we can be the next successful, financially free na salespreneur because we are gifted and blessed with a very good product. So basically, this is the most important part of this uh, session. No? Remembering the three cornerstones of salespreneurship because tayo ang gagawa nito. And with our perspective, with our positive mindset, yes, ladies and gentlemen, it can be done. It may be difficult at start, but when you get used to it, it becomes very natural, very natural. And just remember, after embracing the three cornerstones, just remember the four pillars of salespreneurship. So now that you have a very good product, make sure you've created that in your mind and in the mind of every pro prospect that you will have. Together with your product, create value for yourself. Kasi lahat ngayon, pare-pareho na yung product natin, maganda siya. But creating value extends to yourself as a financial advisor. Sa dinami-dami ng financial advisors ngayon na may magandang product, bakit naman ikaw ang pupuntahan ng isang gustong mag-invest uh, o gustong magkaroon ng uh, product from Manulife? So make sure you create a value for yourself para congruent siya with a good product that you are selling. So start positioning yourself into the most valuable and unforgettable person in the field of financial services. How would you do that? Sa tingin ko, marami naman kayong trainings about that. Akong tip ko talaga ngayon, uh, how to create value for yourself. Use the online technology. Total naman, meron kang Facebook account. At the same time, a lot of people during these times, they're staying at home at nagkababad sila sa Facebook or in other social media platform. Remember, the social media platform now is the new marketplace because they, they, they can go to the mall, they can go to they can go to the events places. So lahat nakatambay ngayon sa bahay and nakababad lahat sa social media platforms. So this is the best time to Create a strong value for yourself. Total naman, meron ka ng magandang product. How would yourself be congruent to your good product? So, ang suggestion ko pinakamadali nga, use the social media platform. Unang-unang tip ko, go back to your, uh, your anong tawag dito, profile in the Facebook. Pag nireview mo ngayon, meron bang value yung nakikita doon? At talaga bang mamamagnetize mo ba ang uh, social media market to the current format of your social media or Facebook uh, profile. Kumusta yung picture na nakalagay doon? Kumusta yung content? Kumusta yung mga uh, items na nandun? Ang challenge ko dito, I am inviting everyone to make your Facebook uh, account as valuable and as unforgettable as possible at this point. Yun ang Keywords doon, no? keywords doon, valuable and unforgettable. Kasi siyempre, marami rin gumagawa ng ano ngayon sa Facebook, no? kasi alam nila ang market nandyan. But make sure, valuable, unforgettable yung sa'yo. Ano bang projection ng isang uh, successful 
uh, na financial services. Ano dapat ang attire niya? Ano dapat ang aura niya pag gumaglagay siya ng profile picture? Ano ba dapat ang gusto natin i-depict doon? Well, I hope... Uh, professionalism, of course, should be depicted. Uh, trustworthiness, di ba? Is uh, the person, uh, someone you can trust just so by how... looking at the profile, di ba? And those Yon. things are napaka-importante. Yon. So I hope pag nilag tinig tiningnan yung Facebook accounts ng mga members natin meta tak na ganon and project a good value pero pag meron ka naman non which I'm sure you already have it's very uh, exciting to go to step number two which is the letter A access the right target market that needs your value napakalawak ng market natin because a lot of people need security needs protection dun sa kanilang pamilya at this point so that means you have a good target market ang gawin lang natin ngayon to be more practical so that we don't be working hard during these difficult times let's work smart so spend our time going to the right target market by doing our homework of qualifying then yung target market naman na yon anyone who needs our value will definitely buy from us and we are able to do that let's go to letter r let's now reinforce that access by converting them into business and revenue so sa sales process natin, this is the closing technique, no? When the client is ready to buy because you did a good presentation, make sure you use a killer instinct closing technique. Everything translates into business. Everything translates into revenue. Because remember, you are an entrepreneur. You're doing this for your business, for your revenue. Yung ibang salesman na ordinary, again, di, hindi talaga salespreneur level, nag end sila doon kasi ang galing naman nila mag-close. Kaya nga, ang dami nilang kita because they are good closers. Kaya lang, after they close the sale, it's the end of the game sa kanila. They spend the money, they enjoy, they forget to go back to those clients and establish continuing relationship with them. Ang tip ko, establish continuing relationship for every converted business or every close clients because I always believe Whenever we close a client, we must open a new relationship. Because when we open new relationships, we will close more business in the future. For in my experience, the best way to make a continuous success in sales is by going back, servicing, establishing, continuing relationship for every client that we serve. So remember the four pillars of salespreneurship. Create your value, access the right target market that needs your value, reinforce the success by converting it into an actual business or revenue, and most important, establish continuing relationship for every business or for every converted sale that you have. So while you are in that position with a very good situation, with a very good product, with all these trainings that we have right now, and you can use this very good opportunity as your vehicle, for whatever plans you have. Sabi nga natin, di ba? Every moment is important and every day is opportunity day. Whatever your goal tomorrow will be dependent on how you spend your moment at this point in time. In fact, while you are listening today, there can be a lot of things can happen. In fact, ang tip ko sa mga ganitong session, marami tayong pinag-uusapan. Just remember one big idea that you got from today's session that can be enough to bring you where you want to go after the session. So these are the qualities of uh, salespreneurs. I hope you tick mark. Marami pa dyan. Adaptability, growth mindset, a lot of things you can say. But these are just one, some of the most important that I would like to share with you. And ladies and gentlemen, with those characteristics, even amidst this crisis, we can always weather the crisis because alam natin, tough times never last. Only tough people would uh, last, no? At this point, we have to choose where we want to be. Choice is a very important gift. Choice is a very important key to our success. So, rise means be resilient, be innovative, be service-oriented, and be enthusiastic. And we can soar higher. Dun sa mga top natures natin to, soar higher. Dun sa mga nagsisimula lang ngayon, it start, di ba, the soar starting today. We all have strengths waiting to be discovered. Just give that time to discover your strength. 
then match that strength to whatever opportunities that we see now inside the, this crisis there's a lot of opportunities and when you are able to discover your strength and match with opportunities immediately quick actions focus actions massive actions as if parang walang crisis because there are a lot of opportunities while others are sleeping let's continue your business while others are taking a rest let's continue our business after all by doing our business we help a lot of people the, our clients our partners ourselves our families our community so it's not a self-serving thing to work in full gear today and with concrete focus massive actions there's no question we will produce all the massive inspiring results that we all need so basically ladies and gentlemen we can all rise and soar in the new normal so thank you very much ladies and gentlemen i'm wishing you all the best in this challenging times again congratulations and keep soaring high in this most challenging times thank you thank you very thank much thank you sir Sir Billy. Thank you, Billy. Thank you so much. Oh. It was uh, Thank you. Welcome. Truly a privilege, no, for uh, for the mighty Everest region, no, to have you. Uh, nakita niyo naman, no, ang dami niyang ano, no, uh, mga mga programs, uh, no, sa YouTube channel niya. Lahat yan na uh, ano niya, no, na share niya with us, and uh, it's actually a very, a very uh, it's a privilege, no, for all of us to have him. Uh, tunay na marami tayong natutunan this morning. And again, pasalamat ko po. Personally, I'd like to thank you, Sir Billy, for accepting our invitation for the Mighty Everest region. It's my pleasure and honor. Thank again, you. congratulations yeah, baka yeah. for taking the initiative no, to do this. Just to make you feel Officially. good about the session, may mga a few comments here from Beth Racho. Thank you, Mr. Billy. Um, very good talk, a valuable sharing. Uh, may nag-share na sa YouTube channel. Uh, yun, idol. Idol ka daw, Billy. Okay, pang Billy Idol. Wow, idol ko rin yan. Si Billy Idol. Si Billy Idol. Rock ka na. Thank you, thank you. Um,